I feel our boys performed extremely well. You know, overall, I think our biggest expectation was for them to compete with any team, give max effort, and not be phased by any team that has big name. Just from a win-loss perspective, going four and two, I would say, exceeded expectations. They came in as an underdog who was a gold team who, who got the access to this big stage event to play a lot of the teams who are Adidas fully sponsored teams and they performed. We showed up and showed out and that's what we wanted them to do. We proved that high intensity, gritty defense coupled with high IQ team basketball can compete against any level. We were able to ultimately walk out of there four and two because of that, because we didn't back down to anybody regardless of the name, regardless of the status. And that's exactly what we worked towards. So I couldn't be more proud of the guys. Going into the tournament, I asked them to, to play hard, compete, play together, share the ball. The right things will happen if we take control, we can. They did their part and it came out to be a solid overall performance on their end. Oh, the talent was, you know, guys that you're gonna see one day on TV, guys that are gonna be in the NBA one day. From the some of the teams we didn't get to even play, you know, so our, our guys got to see what's it really like to be at that level. It ain't just the Bay Area no more. Uh, town level was pretty spectacular. It was a good eye opener for our boys to see that there's levels in this game, regardless of how talented you may be locally, amongst your high school, your county, uh, even your own state. I haven't been to a tournament out of the Bay Area, like except for like Vegas and Anaheim. It like broadened everyone's horizon. Like when you're training, when you're playing in games, keep in mind that somewhere out there, like if you want to go as far as you want to go, there's going to be some dude, six foot five, 250, that wants the same spot you do. And it's just like, you have to realize what kind of player you are and how you're going to fit into a system where you're going to be playing against the top kids from the country. Um, I'd say our favorite moment, or my favorite moment is winning our first game against Team Rose. We went into the game, we didn't know how we were going to play, and it was our first game at the highest level. And after winning that game, I would just say, it showed us that really we could play with some of these teams and compete with the best of the best. We played really good. People underestimated us. We went at the game with everybody saying, oh, you guys are this, you guys are that, because those three would be gold. But we really showed them we could play. We went four and two. But I think we could have pulled a little bit harder and went, we went six and oh. But after that Arkansas game, it kind of like dawned on us that, that we're going to have to play near perfect games almost every game if we want to win. At that moment, like right when that, right when that shot dropped, like we all kind of realized like, like it's, it's not sweet out there. Like we're all gonna have to work for all the W's we got. One special moment that really stood out, I would say is the Utah game where we started the first half down four and then we were able to blow them out by over 30 points. It just showed that the resilience that we had, that even though our shots didn't really drop in that first half, we weren't really getting our offense going. The defense never let down. And then once we turned it up in the second half, and then the shots started to drop. Every shot was going in, the ball was moving, and we ended up just blowing them out. I've never witnessed one half of basketball being played in that fashion to come back in that way and to just play at such a high level. And then they obviously called the game with three minutes left because of a mercy rule, because we were up by more than 20 points. The bonds, the brotherhood of this group, there were moments in games we were actually down by eight to 12 points. Uh, they showed no quit. There were moments where we were up and teams made runs. We didn't start pointing fingers, so it was just the collective unit from the staff, you know, from Gabe to Mossy to the team, all bonding as one. And that's what led to our ultimate success. Wyatt, he was the youngest on our team. He showed out. He came out hungry to score, aggressive in the right moments, took coaching correctly, and it was really good to see him grow uh, as one of the youngest guys on the team. Mikey does Mikey things. I love what I saw about Mikey throughout the week. He got better at getting the ball up the floor and trusting everyone and becoming a true star where he can play make as well. Angelo, I had people come up to me after and say, does this kid like never get tired? And he doesn't. He plays with the motor that every coach was just to have from the players. Andrew was a pure bucket this week. He puts the ball in the basket. He just finds a way to get the ball in the basket. He was locked in this week on defense too. Neighbor did a good job leading the team, being a general, being an Esfachi veteran. I appreciated him a lot this week, commanding the team with where to go, how to move, taking ownership as well. Z coming in, hitting shots. He shot the ball at a high level. Uh, he's a shooter, he's a sniper, he did his job. Vince is a talented scorer. It was good to see some spurts for him, getting to his spots, making the right plays. Ryder locked up the point guard almost every single game we played. One of the best defenders I thought out there picking up full all game. And obviously Jeremiah and Miles just having their presence there and being able to, you know, experience that. Jeremiah getting in, starting on Sunday too, and had some big moments and Miles being a great teammate. It was all 
Everyone was all, we wouldn't have done it without everyone. The team grew a lot. I mean, this event was huge because A, anytime you hop on a plane and go 3,000 miles across the country, that's a new experience. I think a lot of them had never been to that state, in that area, so the culture is different and we're experiencing it together. So I think they grew closer because of that shared experience that they had. And then, you know, all the off court stuff, I think they spent a lot of time just getting to know each other, breaking bread with each other, hanging out in the hotel. It deepens the bond. From a basketball perspective, all of them grew because anytime you play higher comp, you're just able to grow. They now have confidence that they can play against anybody because that's what we proved. My expectation for the future of our college prep is that next year we kind of build on. I think the past three years has been a testament to every year we level up. Every year we build on a success of those before us and we stand on their shoulders and we reach higher heights. So I think, you know, I'm expecting the same thing for next year. You know, we're gonna really build off of the success that we just had this year and we're gonna come back even stronger. As a result of us elevating our competitiveness year after year, what's gonna happen is our end goal, which is really giving more and more kids opportunities to play college basketball. And that's really what our college prep program is about. Increasing the options that the kids on Team Espachi have to play at their next stage, which is collegiate basketball. And that's what I think we're gonna do much more because now we're on the scene, more colleges are aware of the program, and we're gonna continue to make noise. Let's get it.